Bye, Jack. Bye. Whatever, it's the last day of Nina's house. My friends just had to leave, so, and yeah, I don't really like it. We've done a frequently asked questions video in the past, and at the time, we didn't even touch this question because I knew that it was going to need an entire video all to itself, and that is how do you handle taking your kids away from their friends or how are they doing without their friends on the road and i think we're going to just try to tackle all of that in today's video so what is it that you miss most about your friends and being on the road is that we're not really <sighs> is that I can't really play with them often and it's not that fun without them really. The friendship piece of this has been the hardest adjustment for all of us. You know, no parent wants to see their kid really sad and heartbroken over not being able to play with people that they miss and that they love. We cannot do that right now. You know, we thought about, well, what about the kids? We know they have these like, tremendous relationships here but then we also thought but they're capable of not only making new friends but also maintaining the old friends especially in an age of tech and everybody is connected um, we knew that we could do some things on the road to try to keep them connected what are some ways that we can try to stay in touch with your friends i gave them my um, gmail so cool so you got it so you can text friends. And then I want to do FaceTime and calling. FaceTime and calling, okay. You know, we do the best that we can to allow them to connect via FaceTime or text messaging or Kendall gets to play online games with his friends um, under close supervision because, you know, we're very careful and cautious of who he's connecting with online and we always want to make sure that it's people that we know. Um, but those are all things that we're still working out. We had snow on Christmas. Oh, cool. We had snow like a long day, but it was very slippery. Well, today, we what are some ways that we can keep in touch with Presley while we're on the road? I can um, go on my talkie and send your messages. Yeah, your talkie. Well, go get your talkie so we can show it to everybody. Yeah. yeah. What's that? A talkie. It's a talkie. How does it work? I'm actually gonna send her a real message. Oh my gosh, you're gonna send her a real message right now? Okay, show us how. So you press this smiley face right here. Mm -hmm. Presley. <gasps> so, if if the thing says like mom, then you're texting, texting your mom. Is it, if it's like your friend, then you're texting your friend. And it makes silly noises sometimes. Yes. Okay. If you like flip it over, it makes silly noises. It's so fun. Okay, show us how to send a message. So, you press this little message thing right here. And you press it. Record now. And it records. Hi, Presley. Nice day. Let's go and play. Let's go and Her best friend got one for Christmas and we got Lena one for Christmas and her mom and I have apps on our phones and that's how they kind of interchange. It's a little tricky getting it set up, but that's been a really fun way for this age group to stay in touch. Kendall does a lot of FaceTime. Oh, it says it's set. Kendall does a lot of FaceTime and texting and Lena and Presley can use their talkies. <laughs> when we were in <laughs> New Orleans, we decided that our next destination was gonna be Big Bend and we, you know, the logical path, that direction was gonna bring us through our old hometown. And that was great because that meant we could hit up the pediatrician, we could go visit our storage unit, but most importantly, that meant that our kids could be reunited with their friends for a little bit. So that's what we've been doing for the last few days. Lena's friend Presley got to come over, and that's so exciting because uh, they haven't had a chance to really hang out a whole lot this week. So anyway, they are playing Minecraft together and um, loving life. Hey, reunited. I never, uh, I never take off this bracelet. Oh, show me. 
with your best friend bracelet? As a child, my dad was in the Navy and I moved all the time, many different places, especially at the ages that my kids are right now. And so I completely empathize with their heartbreak. Like I've been there before and I know it sucks. At the same time, I feel like moving around and meeting new people and learning new places and things and trying to navigate those long distance friendships also made me a better person. And so I, you know, like while my heart breaks for them a little bit, I also know that they're gonna be okay. So what would you say to a kid whose parents are thinking they might wanna go on an RV trip I would like be this? your friend. You would be their friend? Yes. All right. Is there anything else that you wanna add about friends and maybe some advice to kids who might find this on YouTube and are wondering how they're gonna deal without their friends? Uh, it's okay. Do you think it's okay? Do you think you would tell them it's gonna be okay? Yeah. And I'll be honest, we haven't tackled this question from people very much so far because we are still very much figuring all of this out. And we have a lot of conversations about what it means to be a friend and about making new friends and keeping old friends and about really appreciating this journey for what it is right now and being able to be excited about the adventure and also being able to hold space for missing your friends at the same time that you don't have to give up one to experience the other. Is there anything you want to say to a kid who their family is about to take an RV trip and they're a little sad that they're gonna miss their friends? Well... What? You know... What? Dennis Daly. He has a little app where he can buy a backpack. <laughs> We do not have an app where we can buy a backpack. Nobody can buy anything from us. What would you tell people whose kids are about to go on an RV trip? Sit down, sit down, sit down. Well, I would just say, just have fun, go to Lego Lat. <laughs> okay, you heard it here first. We are full of wisdom and advice, but most of all, we have no idea what we're doing and we're just figuring it out as we go, even with the friends saying. Can you say, um, don't forget to like this video, comment below, and subscribe to Baby League? I don't know. Can you say go to happyloudlife.com? Go to happyloudlife.com. You can watch our videos. Yes, very good. High five. Bye.